I'm Dave from Nimbleforge, and this is a quick review of the newly released Fabricator Mini 3D Printer version 1.5 from HobbyKing.com. At $177 plus shipping, its price is very attractive. It arrived in about a week straight from China. If you want to see an unboxing, Angus from Makers Muse has a video you can check out. Link below. This little printer's build size is 3x3x3 three by three by three inches and is made mostly of acrylic to keep the cost low, but it's sturdy. It uses 1.75mm PLA filament, though others have tried ABS with success. The instructions are clear to get it up and running, and you have to attach a few things, but it doesn't walk you through your first print. If you're new to 3D printing, you might be stuck as to what the next few steps should be. I'm running the software that I recommend on a Windows tablet and it works great. It doesn't tie up my main machine and doesn't get bogged down with larger files. My current setup is a tray table and metal pole for the filament. The Bowden extruder pulls the filament up and the roll rotates freely. There is a supplied strand of filament, but you want to go ahead and purchase a spool of your favorite color. I bought the Hatchbox brand off of Amazon and it's worked great. It's a good price, is quality filament, and if you have Prime, quick free shipping. It runs fairly quiet and isn't a distraction when I'm in the same room. Listen at the end of the video for a sample of the sound it makes. What kind of quality can you expect from a fully assembled $200 3D printer? Well, you can expect surprisingly good quality. I printed a lot in the last few weeks I've had it the longest print being 6 hours and 40 minutes. Most prints have turned out really good. I had an issue of long pieces peeling up, but I moved the printer away from the doorway and haven't had that problem since. Overall, a great little printer. I recommend it for those that are interested in 3D printing and want something easy to start with. Even if you already have a printer, this would be a nice addition. It's desktop friendly too. Okay, we've reached the end of this 3 minute review. What do you think of it? Want more videos? Leave a comment below. Thank you!